Software Spring Presence Which one to use, a pivot table, or count blank function, to count blank cells, in Google Sheets? Hello folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which compares a pivot table, and the count blank function, for counting blank cells, in a data range. Let's begin by taking a look, at the topics of the tutorial. Overview of source data. Objective. Create and use a pivot table, to count blank cells. Use count blank function, to count blank cells. Quick review. Overview of source data. Let me use the data in the source table, to create the pivot table, with these headers. Objective To count blank cells, using pivot table, and count blank function Create and use a pivot table, to count blank cells Alright, first, select the headers and data, from the source table Click insert, pivot table Specify, whether you want to create the pivot table, in a new sheet, or the existing sheet. Specify the starting cell, of the pivot table. Click Create. OK, Google Sheets has inserted a blank pivot table. This is the pivot table editor. It has these elements, and the headers, from the source table. Drag and drop, investment class, below rows. Drag and drop, user ID, below values. Ensure the summarize by option, is set to counter. Here is the count of blank, and non-blank cells, in the specified range. If you wish to display, the count of only blank cells, then the steps are. Drag and drop, investment class, below filters. Click the status field. Click clear. Click blanks. Close the pivot table editor. Alright, here is the count of only blank cells. Change this title to number of blank cells. This step is optional. Use count blank function, to count blank cells. Alright, let's take a look at the count blank function formula. Value 1, is the first range, to count for blank cells. Value 2, and others, are optional. Ok, we are ready to type the count blank function formula. Type the equal to symbol, C-O-U-N and select count blank for value 1 select this column and press enter there you go count blank has returned the number of blank cells now the question is which one to use a pivot table or count blank function a pivot table is more versatile on the other hand, count blank function, is more straightforward. Use the one, based on your needs and convenience. Quick review. A pivot table, or count blank function, assists to count blank cells, in a data range. In the pivot table, ensure the summarize by option, is set to count A. 
count blank, counts blank cells, in the specified range. The count blank function formula is That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.